Um, today I'm going to be here talking about uh, meat hacking, uh, meat into jerky. Uh, I started about a, in December of last year and I've done a lot of research and everyone says my jerky tastes good, so I'm, and they're not lying to me. <laughs> I have a. What? Huh? Hello? Okay. Uh, we got it open in the line, so you got okay. you got to hold it just so. Yeah. Hello. There we go. Got um. Going to be doing some trivia questions throughout for some free samples. I was going to be taking care of them. Uh, if you get a trivia question, you just come up. Tell her which one of the four you get. You have four pieces. Um, I got um, original teriyaki, cracked pepper and garlic, hickory, chili, and uh, teriyaki. So we're going to go ahead and start off with a trivia question here. And um, real genius, who won the Madame Curie lookalike contest? I don't know. What was her name? The one that never sleeps. Yeah. It's a trick question. What's real genius? Madame Curie. Oh. Elma. Elma had three entrants. Okay. I'm going to give you a hint. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. He said well, come on up. Awesome, man. Get you some meat. I want some meat. <laughs> Let off give you some of her meat. I want original meat. I don't trust all these other fancy things. Yes. Yes. No one won. There was one entry and he was disqualified later. Four. They don't mention it. You said three. I thought there were three. Is it just one? Give him some of that jerky back. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't well, I, that. I said you got four pieces. Yes. <laughs> four pieces. Um, we're going to start with the basics here. Um, Happy birthday, Nathan. 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 Happy birthday, Happy birthday Nathan. Happy birthday, Nathan. <laughs> there's um, two types of jerky that I make. Uh, there's a real beef jerky that's made from the whole muscle. Cuts of meat like um, London broil or uh, eye brown roast. But any very lean piece of meat will work. You don't want a fatty piece of meat because when you dehydrate it, the fat in it will retain moisture and it'll start to mold quicker. And there's also the Slim, slim Jim type sticks or strips made from ground beef or any kind of lean ground meat like um, venison. And uh, there's a couple things you need. Uh, the dehydrator <coughs> to dry the meat out. And if you're making the strips from the ground beef, you're going to need a jerky gun. Why does that sound sexy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some tips about the dehydrator. You don't want to get an El Tipo dehydrator with a fan in the base because the marinade and drippings of meat will drop down into your fan and it's just a pain in the ass to clean. Uh, the one that I use is a Nesco FB80 square shape dehydrator. Uh, it comes with four racks by default, but you can buy extra racks and expand it up to eight. Uh, I chose the square shape because it has more <coughs> surface area than the round ones and it's easier to do the strips. Um, another thing I discovered was to get a, dehyd or a timer for my dehydrator because uh, one night I started my jerky, started gaming, and about 10 hours later I realized, oh shit, I should have taken it off four hours ago. And it was just a little, little bit crunchy. It's good Yeah, it still tasted good, but it was brittle. Yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is an example of the one you don't want to have, where it's got the, the pan in the base. Is that more for vegetable and fruit stuff? Yes, it would work better for fruits and vegetables. Still be kind of sticky though. I understand. Yeah. Here's a, um, another trivia question here. Simple math, right? 200. No. 
Calvin. No. <laughs> one zero zero one zero zero. I'll give you a hint. It's binary. The question is meaningless unless well, you define the base. Oh, yes, sir. It's base plus eight. 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 It's all eight. 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 Come on up. Whoever said eight. Okay. Up to four pieces. Ten. It's different bases on either side. Binary. Two or three. Okay. This is the whole meat, and you that's the ground beef. Butter and jelly. Jerky. Um, the jerky gun is used to turn your ground meat into nice little round sticks or flat strips. Um, you can make them look, the round sticks look like um, some gems and the flat ones look like the, the flat jerky, but it's very easy to use and easy to clean. You may have found the answer to my cannibalism problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so easy, you just put the ground meat, meat in the tube, uh, you screw the nozzle of your choice on, whether you want it flat or round, and start squeezing out the nice, perfectly formed strips. It's an overgrown, overgrown cock gut, right? Basically. Yes. Hmm. Uh, the alternative is to um, to do it without a jerky gun. You put it on a piece of, put your ground meat on a piece of wax paper, put another piece on top, and use a rolling pin to roll it out and slice it with a knife. But I'm lazy, so I just use the, the jerky gun. And, <laughs> It costs about $50 on Amazon. Another trivia here. What movie quote is this from? Uh, bonus piece if you can also name the actor and or character. Uh, hey Cameron, you rise. If we played by the rules right now, we'd be in the gym. Fair. Correct. Do you know the actor and or character? Yes. Come on up. You get six pieces. New 80s movies. Number three, my lord. And just for anyone who doesn't get any trivia, uh, any leftovers I'll have in the lobby after my talk. So, apparently I was going to eat it all, so there's not going to be any. <laughs> Uh, the ground meat prep, uh, you, you can, they say you can use 85 and above, but I don't use anything below 90%. Um, that's, and usually I use 93 to 95%. Just because the, the, the more fat you use, the more likely it's going to start molding. Um, if you don't properly pre package it for long-term storage. Uh, you can use other types of meat like venison. Um, I made venison earlier this year with a uh, few pounds that I had, and it was very delicious. It was much better than beef jerky. If you can get deer meat, highly recommend it. Very delicious. It was delicious. My challenge is harvesting it. Yes. I got the deer. Gotta get the combine out, man. We had it in the freezer, so we were, you know, beta testing that stuff. It was delicious. I've been told by a couple people to avoid making the uh, jerky out of turkey and pork because when you dehydrate it, the meat only gets to about 160, 170 degrees in the dehydrator. So there's potential for salmonella and other bacteria. So, and no one likes food poisoning. So I, I just avoid that. Uh, seasoning, uh, it's really easy uh, for beginners. All you gotta do is buy some Nesco or High Mountain seasoning. They come in pre-packaged little packets like you can see in the picture there. 
Uh, they come in the, the seasoning packets and the cure packets. The cure packets basically salt, but and then you just mix them in with the meat. Uh, eventually you might want to experiment with your own flavorings, uh, but it's a lot easier to do with the whole meat that is made out of the London broils, just because you're, you're making a marinade then, not actually mixing the seasoning straight into the meat. I use um, Nesco right now because it's, it's the easiest to start with. It comes in the pre-measured packets, uh, one packet for each pound of meat. Are they in grocery stores or you gotta buy it online? I buy it on Amazon. I don't know if it's in grocery stores because I buy pretty much everything on Amazon. <laughs> Everybody's best friend. I have Amazon Prime, so it comes in two days or three ninety nine, and I have it the next day. So if you're making two pounds, you just use two packets of flavoring and two packets of liquor and mix it in and you're good to go. Uh, once it's mixed together well, you cover it in spram wrap, place it in the refrigerator for 48 hours. Uh, you might be able to get away with doing it less than two days, but I, like, I found that it the, the, seems to be the perfect spot to get the meat to bind together nicely when you're squeezing it out. Uh, it's recommended six hours in the directions, but when I've done that, it comes out in, in clumps and doesn't form nice sticks. It, it forms little short sections. Um, here's a good one. Um, if anyone can get this, I'll give you 12 pieces. Uh, one episode of Pack 5 was my idea for a rechargeable battery for the pineapple machine. Episode 4. Eight. Ten. Two. I will give you a hint, it's in season four. Five. Uh, Thirty-seven. Fifty-two. Five. Forty. Forty-two would be the number. It's higher than five. Twelve. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Higher than six. Thirty-five. Seventeen. Higher than seven. Nineteen. Nine and a half. Eleven. Fifteen. Eighteen. 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 There's only one of them. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Jump right in there. It is now. Exactly. Well, the truck, all of us should get a piece. Just hand it around. There's going to be plenty. I made 15 pounds of jerky. Good. Uh, um, well, I turned 15 pounds of meat into about seven and a half pounds of jerky. It took me an entire week to make, but I figured it was worth it. Oh, God, yeah. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, you made your meat, seasoned it, put it in the refrigerator for 40 hours, now what? Uh, take the bowl out, get the hydrator trays ready, you fill your jerky gun with the meat, and press it out. <laughs> And now this part's the good smelling part. Um, when you're cooking or dehydrating, it's evaporating all of that liquid. And it, it fills your house with the aroma of whatever you seasoned it with. And it just smells delicious. Uh, once you have your, your uh, meat all nicely on the dehydrator, it's time to plug it in. Uh, let, the, let the drying start. I personally found, uh, when I'm cooking in my house, that it, for the, the flat strips, it takes four to six hours. Four to six or four T six? Four to six. And if you're grinding the rounder, the round sticks that look like um, Slim Jones, it takes a little longer because it's uh, thicker. It takes five to seven. That's it. You're inconsistent. Yeah. It doesn't take long for the ground beef. Uh, here's a picture of my dehydrator. On, on the timer. Yeah, with the timer. Nice. <laughs> uh, set for 160 degrees. And you see you can dry other stuff like fruits and vegetables, but let's face it, 
Use a meat tastes a lot better. Use a moisture meter to figure out when it's done, or you just kind of what's that? You use a moisture meter? No, I, I'll, I'll give it that in just a minute. Like I said, I normally set the timer for five to six hours, and uh, towards the end I check it. Uh, basically, the way I check it is you squeeze a piece of jerky, and if the meat is still moist, then you keep drying. Uh, but you have to you have to make sure there's, to notice the difference between the the grease that comes out on top and that you have to uh, wipe off from your fat content and the actual moisture that's still in it. Uh, once once you do it once or twice, you're gonna you're gonna notice that the meat still looks raw when you squeeze it. Experience. Yeah, hmm. I, my first batch didn't turn out, but that's why you start with a small batch, uh, about a pound, just to just to see what you're doing. But you want to make sure you get all the moisture out because uh, the moisture is going is what's going to cause it to start molding, and then it's garbage or dog treats if you have dogs. <laughs> yes. My parents' dogs have enjoyed the entire batch. That was not happening. Yes. And you want to make sure you keep it out of reach of your pets because your dogs will find it. Especially little ones that like to go up on tables. Cats. Yes. Pomeranians, especially. Yes. Specifically, even if you walk outside for 30 seconds and you come back inside, the bag is half gone My on the floor. My dog has ate all of our jerky one weekend. Oh, wow. I'm accidentally leaving it out. Here's an easy one. Capital of Ukraine. Give. I want to. You. Oh, I get it. <laughs> you. That looks much different on my computer at home. We'll get over it. Basically, it says real beef jerky prep. Now, this is what I consider the real beef jerky. Um, that's where you actually cut up the nice strips of meat and the little chunks. Uh, in my opinion, it's simpler because I don't like squeezing out the meat. It's much easier for me to just slice the meat up, don't call put it in the marinade, and then. His hand don't cramp up either, does it? Do what? A uh, quarter inch or less. Use a slicer? I want one. I don't have one yet. Right now, it cuts it up by hand. Yes, and it's a. You'll pain. see it in the video. Meat slicers are neat. You work yes. They're, yes. They're really handy. That's the beast. Yes. But I like. I also like doing the uh, the whole meat because it, I have more of a freedom of flavoring. Mm -hmm. Because all you do is create a marinade. You don't have to mix seasonings in. You just create a marinade, let it sit. Uh, first, you want to pick out a nice lean cut of meat. I normally use London broils. But I've been experimenting with the eye brown roast recently, and that's actually what the, if you get the chili, that's what it's made of, is the eye brown roast. It's got a, um, it's got a slab of fat on the outside, you have to slide get rid of first, but it, the meat, the meat, in my opinion, after dehydrating it, is slightly more tender than the London broil. Yes. But you can basically use any, any type of lean meat that doesn't have a high, <laughs> what is the significance of this number? The emergency code in IT crowd. IT Come on up. IT crowd. Whoever got it first. It was over here. Birthday boy got it. Happy birthday, Nathan. Can you sing the song? Happy birthday, Nathan. Sing the song, Nathan. Oh. 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 It's written right up there. I know, but I don't know how it goes. Oh, one, one, eight, eight, one, nine, nine, seven, six, nine, nine, eight, nine, 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 n
are you getting too old for this shit? <laughs> We're too drunk for this shit. From today, Dolly 999 will not get you to emergency services. And that's not the only thing that's changing. Nicer ambulances, faster response times, and better looking drivers. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh, come on. Did you want to try both? This is the same thing. And higher pay. It's the IT crowd, my man. Just passing a few random pieces. Hurry up! Drink! Drink! Happy birthday, Nathan! Happy birthday, Nathan! Sweet 16, Nathan! Here's a, um, a picture of Oz slicing some of the meat for uh, the. Knife safety, you gotta curl the fingers. <laughs> oh, I didn't care if she cut her fingers off. No. That just had flavor. My nails are just dirty. Anyway. It's all good. It's all good. You just got some nails jerky. As someone mentioned earlier, you can save some time by using the meat slicer. I currently don't have one because it's $150. Oh, no, no, no. Or $35. I just let you all know that was a post anyway for the picture. Mine is 25 years old, but get the, get the, uh, 20, get the $50 Presto number. Electric motor, okay. just. You know, like the deli slicer. Well, I look at those, but I like this because you just stick your entire slab of meat in, and in five seconds you have oh, all your strips. That sounds painful. That sounds great. I would have to slice it in half to get it to fit into the slot, but yeah. You're making it worse. That sounds gruesome. So then you have all your meat sliced up and your hands are freezing because... You get to freeze a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I freeze the meat slightly for 60 to 90 minutes. I think I forgot to cover that in a previous slide, I'm sorry. But um, when it's partially frozen, it, it's easier to slice into thinner slices. Uh, now, now that it's sliced up, I put it in a gallon Ziploc bag. Um, normally I get three to four pounds in a gallon bag. And I then you set it aside. Make your marinade. What movie is this quote from? Also, a bonus piece for naming the character and actor. This is Barry Manilow. Know that you rate this war. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club is correct. All right. Which actor and or? Sixteen candles down here. I don't remember. No. What's it in that? Judd Nelson. Jeff, Judd Nelson can come up, come get the bonus piece. <laughs> I don't remember what's the opposite of John Bender. Yes, I, I love 80s movies, so the trivia may be biased. <laughs> it's very biased. No way, it's unfair! <laughs> I disqualified Audrey and Chris from the... Yes. So, it's all... Exactly it's completely fair now. I might take all the bags. Here comes the fun part. It's making the marinade. Uh, for the most part, I stick to the Alton Brown recipe as my base, and then I, I change it from there. I know. My mom loves Alton Brown, and that's actually how I found the recipe. I fucking love Alton Brown. What are you I talking about? <laughs> I'm I just love the picture. <laughs> Here is the um, AB jerky marinade base. I normally make a, a double batch for two to three pounds because his recipe is for one to two pounds. And basically, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to make more than one or two pounds. Uh, it's two thirds of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, two thirds of a cup of soy sauce. A tablespoon of honey, two teaspoons freshly ground black pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, and <coughs> one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And this is completely water. Great. <laughs> uh, just mix up the marinade in a mixing bowl and then carefully pour it into your bag with the uh, strips of meat. I try to get as much air out and ziplock zip lock it up nice and tight. Chris and, sucks and, Yes, Chris is good at sucking. 
<laughs> and now it's now that it's uh, sealed together, you just squish the meat in the bag around and try to get it. You're not helping us. <laughs> And make sure it all gets nice and coated. <laughs> now you want to put it in the fridge and in a way that it'll stand up in my blurry picture because Chris obviously couldn't get a good picture of that. He was my photographer. The ones that are blurry. Yes. I wasn't there for that photo just to let you know. And <laughs> <laughs> I let it sit for three to four days of four three to four days absorbing the flavor. And once a day, I pull it out and put it all around again. <laughs> now it's time to get down to business. Uh, get the bag out, uh, dump up to a strainer in your sink and shake out as much of the liquid as you can. The more liquid you get out, the <laughs> exit stage right. <laughs> the more liquid you can get out, the. Unless <laughs> <laughs> it will have to evaporate in the dehydrator. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, it's all of that. Okay. <laughs> Take it out piece by piece, lay it down on the dehydrator, and I, I try to avoid touching the pieces because you want some airflow between them, and if they're touching, when they dry, they'll actually stick together, and you don't like sticky meat. It's far to the purse, I guess. I don't like sticky meat. You want to turn the dehydrator on, set the timer, and wait. Uh, for the whole muscle uh, jerky, I found my sweet spot to be around 8 to 10 hours. You also want to do the moisture test to verify it's dry and ready. The time it takes will depend on how thinly you're able to the slice it. Thicker slicers will take longer to dry out. Another trivia here. What TV show is this quote from? All right. Bonus. IT crowd. Cake boss. Yes, you're right. You get the question. You get the bonus. <coughs> Do you know the actor? Okay. Chris You get that piece. Hey, you can have it. <laughs> okay, you get to have that. He gets two pieces. But you owe me. <laughs> Did you want more? Should you take more? Yes. While they're picking up their pieces, uh, I had a question about Alton Brown. Yes. I know he had a show where he like strapped it to air filters and stuck it in his AC yes. output. That is where this recipe's from. Uh, that's what I thought. But what do you think of that method of the no heat? but very, very low, cool humidity. I haven't tried it. I don't know if I want to try it. I have a dehydrator, so. But if you have the money to possibly waste, go ahead and try it. Yeah, I mean, the problem with that is you have to buy new filters every time. A dehydrator costs $60. So if you're gonna make more than a couple batches, it's cheaper in the long run than just get a dehydrator. But he says it works, and I trust his opinion, so. He liked the no heat method. Yeah. You can always test it out and see which one you like better. Uh, I'm gonna share some of my recipes here. They're, uh, they have been a top secret up until now. Unless you follow my Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all my recipes are for two to three pounds. Here is the truly uh, chili jerky. Um, everyone yeah. except for Chris and apparently Will Pig likes my chili jerky. Yeah. I think it's the best. Uh, it's, this is, since this is a double batch, it's basically the Alton Brown recipe all the way down to 
adding the tea, the two teaspoons of paprika, the two teaspoons of ground cumin, cumin, however that's pronounced. I don't claim to be any kind of English professor, so. Public school for the win. I don't think has to be. Yes, I had Georgia Public School. Michigan. And. <laughs> and three teaspoons of chili powder. I actually use the uh, hot Mexican chili powder. Give it a slightly uh, more <clears throat> spicy flavor. The presenter needs a Penzi's catalog for Christmas. <laughs> uh, this is this was actually a mistake. I was trying to make a bacon flavor, so I bought molasses bacon flavoring that ended up tasting like a sweet barbecue. So. It uses Worcestershire sauce uh, and a cup of water mixed with half of the container of molasses bacon uh, real mix. And then let it sit for three to four days. Teriyaki is basically the same as Alton Brown's base, uh, except I swap out the soy sauce for teriyaki sauce, which gives it the, the teriyaki flavor. And I did that because they both are high in content for salt, which was what the soy sauce was used for, which is helps cure the, the meat. Hickory, I swap out the soy sauce for Moore's marinade. Everything else is the same as the Alton Brown base. Another trivia. What movie is this quote from? A bonus piece if you know the actor and character. Come on baby, come to Papa, I'll kiss your fucking Dalmatian. <laughs> they totally say fucking Dalmatian in a Disney movie. <laughs> 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 Alright, Mr. Still not watching that. So. It's an 80s movies. <laughs> Who said Die Hard? Do you know the actor and or character? There you go, come on up. For anyone who doesn't know, it's a scene when he's on top of the build at Nakatomi Plaza and the fire trucks are coming and then they turn around. Yes, it is. Damn it, spoiler. Oh, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. I thought Dalmatian was a euphemism. <laughs> Thank you. And now, you, now it's time to enjoy your fruits of your labor. The hard part's trying not to eat it all at once. Uh, if you do, it is going to wear your jaw out and it may give you TMJ. And I like that. I don't have TMJ, but I have worn my jaw out to the point where I could not chew anymore. We're not going to ask for what? Yeah. All that. Shake it. Make it. No, 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 no. All that stuff. That's some miscellaneous tips. Uh, when cutting your meat, cutting with the grain will make a tougher jerky for the whole meat. Uh, cutting against the grain, the grain will make it slightly tender. Uh, if you store it in just a plain Ziploc bag, uh, it'll, it'll store, uh, keep for a, a few weeks outside of the fridge. Uh, for longer term storage, you, know, you want to put it in the refrigerator or freeze it or vacuum seal it. Yeah, <laughs> I like your last sentence there. Yeah, I, I haven't vacuumed silly yet because... Chris does it for us. No. He has. Chris inhales my meat. He does. He's a great man. He takes it all in. Uh, <laughs> all that meat. Uh, here's some links. Uh, for recipes and my other jerky making, the shorter look goes to the Facebook page. He also has a very good taco one that was an accident, but it tastes just like taco. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's delicious. I was trying to make a Mexican flavoring and it tastes like taco. Straight up taco, but it's good. It's really good. Any questions or comments? Have you tried doing it in the oven instead of using a dehydrator? That would make it hard. I thought I had a slide on that. I guess not. But um, I. That is an alternate way to do it. The problem is, is you need to put your 
your um, stove on 160, 170 degrees and leave it cracked for six hours. So it, it may be fine in the winter when you're trying to eat your house, but other, during the summer it's not very economical to keep your oven open and your AC running. If you live in Georgia, not so much. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Not doing that stuff. Not happening in Georgia. Oh, so, so yeah, um, I was going to ask, uh, have you ever tried the little silicon things to, to go along with the zip bag? Because I actually repurpose them when I get stuff at shipping, and you can actually throw them in like a little toaster oven. And From what I've heard, they're not, out. the ones that you get in normal shipping are not food friendly. <laughs> you have to buy the special food ones. Okay. Yes. And then also for the slicing, um, is it okay to do it pre, like tell the butcher to cut it up for you? Yeah. And you don't have to do the work? I don't have a butcher near me. I live in the middle of nowhere. Right. And if you go to Walmart or anything and you ask them or Sam's Club or wherever you go and you ask them to do Slice exactly it. how you want, it's absolutely, yeah. I would recommend okay. that, yes. Thank you. Oh, can you go back one slide? Thank one slide. Yes. To the links. For how long? It stays as good as long as you freeze it, you thought. The IEMA.net slash jerky. Let it sit out though for a little while. Because like when you do in your jerky, yeah. it still needs to dry because you don't want molding. But it will keep it longer for you if you do freeze it. I would say zip, I would say freezer zip lock it, and you can keep it in a cupboard longer. But you know you can freeze, but it just won't stay as good as long as you freeze because it does get moist. But you can freeze. And hardly ever last. Yes. No, you'll eat Normally, when I make a batch of jerky, it's gone within a week. We got all that stuff. Between my friends, yeah. co workers, myself, my friends, family. You made me two pounds and it lasted. And I really, I, it was supposed to be for this trip. It lasted maybe. It was four a fat bag like really this, nursing. and it's almost gone already. And this was just starting yesterday. So, yeah, but he's a fatty. He's like I said, he inhales my meat. Pregunta. Or a question for those of us who speak English. I speak English. <laughs> Indeed. Um, one thing we meant, uh, neglected to mention was the cost. I mean, you're, you're cutting up primo pieces of meat, yes. which are eight or ten bucks a pound. No, uh, no, five dollars. Uh, well, Walmart. <laughs> no, Sam's Club, Sam's Club is very pricey. Sam's Club is. Costco, they, you can actually get it for a better deal the, than Walmart. So, ground, so you, the ground meat I, I use is usually five dollars a pound, mm -hmm. unless I can get it on sale for four dollars. And the London Royals are, I normally try to get them on sale for $4 a pound. Normally at my Bilo, they're five fifty a pound. It's actually very reasonable. It's really the products that make it. And easy. what about input versus output? So I, obviously we've all bought jerky and it's $7 for a half ounce jerky. I don't know if I'm getting a good deal or not, right? No, I know. You get about 50% yield. So if you buy two pounds of meat, you're going to get about a it's pound only half. Yes. Oh, that's, that's very well, that's dehydration. And um, yes. early in your slide, you said you need a meat, gu meat gun, dehydrator. The other thing you need is a lot of time. Yes. So next time you give this up, add in, you need some time. Because you need at least a couple days to prep. But it's like anything, work. the money that you save is a time money trade off. If you're home at and night, if you're at stuff night. That you not doing anything anyways, right? No, but technically, <laughs> if, you're, if you do are at home, like before work, and some of this takes six to eight hours to dehydrate anyways, you could actually throw it on while you're at work and come home by the time you're, you know, it's already done. Right, but you guys, yes. you do it at or night, I, and it takes a few days. So. I put it on before I go to bed and it's ready when I wake up, or it's before I go to work. Your house smells awesome. Still yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes much better than that plastic crap you get in a bag at the grocery store. Yes, yeah. um, compared to what you're doing. Better than Jack Links. Yes. yes. Right on. Thanks, Jack. Thank yes. I can hold it. I don't need it. I was gonna say uh, a good way to cut to cut back on the price of the meats is if you know family or do it yourself is just kill your own meat. Yes. I highly recommend deer jerky. If yes, deer, the deer jerky is, is delicious. My it mom makes it and it's, it's it's very lean to begin with, and that's if you, if you have access to very killing healthy. your own deers or someone who kills deers. You're good to go. Or elk, or any wild game, really. Just drive fast on a dark road. <laughs> <laughs> That's the true meaning of fast food. Where, where and then let your insurance pay for your car. <laughs> Avoid armadillo, it's too high and fast. Yeah, just a little bit. A little crunchy, might be a little more. Possibly a problem. Here's a, a short video, about three minutes from that Christmas.
<laughs> There's not gonna be any sound, but it's just music. I said, there's no sound. It's just music playing, though. <laughs> More artistic this way. Just a piano player. And that's how a lot of horror movies begin. <laughs> It's a brand chainsaw. I keep expecting there is a music, but I don't know how to approach it. It's a mess layout. Yes! Oh, new trailer park. I've already seen this movie. I'm trying to know. Pirate did it. I'm getting a break in, man. I've been trying to know. Yeah, I thought I saw it was a pirate bay that day. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, it was a pirate bay. It's already been leaked. Yeah, it was called uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. With extra Honey bears were we ate this <laughs> turkey that we're making in this video. This and it's been gone for about two months. Nice case of Jamie. This was our turkey, so he fed us the plastic. Uh, <laughs> you ready, Jamie Peaks? I'm always the guinea pig. Yeah, I'm always the guinea pig. I've tried every flavor. When I try something new, I bring it over. I don't even tell where it is. I say, try this. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you. That's what you said. Nice friend of manicure you got there. Thanks. I get it done down the street. I'm <laughs> married. I respect manicure. <laughs> so what kind of? If your hands are ugly, that says a lot about. What kind of meat were you cutting right there? <laughs> Love and broil. Just kidding. Yes. Hand model. Yeah. Where's the gasoline? Well, I offered to like you know cut the meat and everything. I didn't know I was going to be filming at the time, but you know it's okay. <laughs> I, I came over and asked for pictures, and Chris decided to shoot videos, so I said, what the hell. We were doing pictures, and then he said, hey, let's make a video, so we made a video. What are you dipping the meat in in that picture? That's his marinade. He's actually taking it out. Yeah, I was taking it out with a marinade. Have you ever put sesame seeds in there? No, Not you can. Do it after it's dry or before it's dry? I would put it in with your marinade because okay. then it will stick better. That's what I would do. But I would put more because it's liquid. Right. So, or if you want, there. you can actually do it with your finger. With extra moist finger. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say my house smells glorious for nine whole days. <laughs> Every time you open the bag, it's a uh, better than any plate plug in you've ever had. <laughs> So we gotta go to that website to get the full video. At us no, that's the whole video. I got lazy and went back to Very nice. Game. Sorry. <laughs> that's the same website that my shorter older lady used to. Thank you. Guys, you guys rock. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.